I'm gonna tell you guys, these freezer mills have been like heaven sent. You guys, it's super simple, super easy. It's eight mils in like two hours, and it's so worth it. Hey, what is up? So today is another day of freezer mills. If you guys have not seen my freezer mill videos, um, just so you know, I make eight of the same mills. And why I do that is because I have eight women that I exchange mills with. So they make eight of the same things, I make eight of the same things, and then we all exchange. And so I will show you guys my process of what I am making, and then I will also show you, once we do the exchange, what they made as well. I already have two other videos that we will link for you above of um, my other freezer mills. Go check those out, there's two other ones, plus this one, plus go check out how Inez rolls. She is part of that group and she will have a video posted as well. So that'll give you guys quite a few ideas for free. I've never made this before, but it seems pretty simple, pretty straightforward, not too many ingredients. Let me show you what you need to get started. Okay, so for this recipe, you will need one pound of um, ground beef. You will need a can of cheddar cheese uh, soup. You will need a package of taco seasoning. You will need a package of egg noodles. You will need a can of Rotel. And you will need one 16 ounce um, container of sour cream. That is it. And the other thing I forgot to mention that you will need is um, cheddar cheese. So we got the cheddar cheese ready to go. Let's get started. All right, so to start, what you will need to do is brown your meat. I think this is gonna be the most time-consuming part of the whole recipe, is browning the meat and cooking your pasta. So I'm gonna go ahead and probably brown half of the meat, and then I'll start like combining and making the meals while the other half is cooking, and um, I'll throw as much pasta as I can in right now as well. is done which means it's only two pounds which means I still have like six four pounds to cook the water for the noodles has still is still waiting to boil so this part will be time-consuming when you're making eight when you're making one if you're making one or two for your family it'll be super quick the meat is done it's all brown so I'm gonna add two-thirds cup water and the taco seasoning to this or ground beef cooked and I'm just mixing it all together in one big bowl until I go through and combine all the ingredients so I will measure it out for ground beef what you want for about a pound if you want to measure it out in cups it's about two cups per pound so I will for each recipe I will be putting two cups of ground beef in each dish I got my noodles going right now waiting for the noodles Looks like, and then I'm gonna start my next batch of meat. So as soon as I get all the meat and all of the noodles cooked and ready to prep, ready to go, I'll show you guys the next steps. So as you guys know, we've had, we had sick kids like all of this week, and I'm gonna tell you guys, these freezer mills have been like heaven sent. They have seriously just helped out a ton. Like, I think most of you guys know that are watching, but for those of you who are new, like literally I have eight mills in my freezer 
all ready to go, ready to put into the oven for days where I just need like a quick, easy meal. And it has helped a ton on this week especially with the kids being sick and all of that and so I'm super grateful and I would just I would just encourage you guys if you guys have you know friends around in the neighborhood or other moms like set something up where you guys can do these meals together because it really totally helps out and I've said this before in previous uh, freezer meal videos it helps to be able just to cook one or eight of the same meal because you're just buying all the same ingredients instead of buying like 15 million different ingredients. So it actually really works out really, really well. So if you're able to find someone to do it with, do it. Because it really, truly is like awesome. Whew, it is hot. Okay, so I pretty much think I have um, all the meat that I need cooked. Now I'm just waiting on more of the noodles to cook up. But... While I'm waiting for those to cook, I'm gonna start mixing up these batches. You guys, it's super simple, super easy, and this actually is all super easy, but because I'm making it in bulk, it does take a little bit longer, but if you, like I said, if you are doing just like one or two of these, so quick, so, so quick. So, and honestly, this will probably take me about maybe a couple hours just to get it all finished, and that's eight meals in like two hours, and so worth it. All right, you guys, so we are gonna do I am doing two cups of the ground beef. So I'm just literally gonna just, and you can cheat a little bit and do a little bit more or whatever or less however much, but I'm gonna start out with two cups and just see how that goes. There's two cups right there of the ground beef. So you're gonna mix that and then you're gonna take your cream of, or not cream of, your cheddar cheese soup and just dump that right in there. And get my slap and spread right here, help that out. Get that in there. And literally what you're doing right here, you guys, is just mixing all of the ingredients together. Super simple. Not hard at all, obviously. And then you're going to take the sour cream. Super healthy, guys, obviously, right? Okay, again, you're just gonna dump the whole thing in. And like I said in the beginning, this is a 16 ounce. It calls for 16 ounces of sour cream, so. Just dump in the whole 16 ounces. And honestly, you guys, I was thinking about this as I was making it. You could add really whatever you want. I was thinking like black beans would be good in this or really any kind of beans. Um, whatever you want, I think would be corn. You could add corn in here. But I'm just going to keep to the recipe and just leave it as is. You guys can do whatever you want with this recipe. All right, let me get this in, dump that in there, boom. You wanna dump your whole package of noodles in there. I have them over here drained, so I'm just gonna pour that right in there, boom. And so for the cheddar cheese, you want two cups of the cheddar cheese. You guys, I'm not kidding, all this stuff in this recipe is like, oh, my favorites. It's like all my favorites combined in one. All right, so we're gonna do two cups cheddar cheese, boom, pour that right on top, and then you're just gonna mix it all together. Mix, mix, mix. Yeah, I bet beans would be delicious in here. Oh, my mama. So when you go to cook this, if you're freezing it, you want to defrost it the night before um, in your fridge, and then you're gonna cook it at 350. I'm gonna have to double check on the time for you guys, but. I'll let you know in just a sec. So good, oh my goodness. You know what, I bet you could add chips on top of this. Like you could get so creative with this, which I might on my own add some chips. The lime uh, tostita chips are so good. They would be so good in here. You could even crunch it up in here, put some on top, add some extra cheese on top. Oh man, I should not be doing this when I'm hungry. All right, you guys. So you take your mixture. By the way, are you guys so impressed with this awesome bowl? We had a viewer send us these awesome bowls that like stack inside of each other. This is the big one, so I'm no longer using my crock pot to mix all this stuff. So awesome, awesome. It's made things way super easy. So now you guys, just seriously, just pour it in your pan and you're good to go. Look at that. Okay, so just pour it all in there and you are good to go. You could add, like I said, you could add chips on top, which I probably will when I cook this because you know Danny and his crunch. He loves the crunch. So 
Just spread this out, smoothen it out. I will add some chips and probably some extra cheese on top. But I did check the time. So you're gonna cook this at 350 for 25. So I did check the time on this. You guys are gonna cook this for about 25 to 30 minutes until bubbly. So that's it, you guys. Super easy, smells so good. I know it's gonna taste delicious. But like I said, make it to your liking. If you wanna add beans, add beans, add whatever you want. I've got one down, seven more to go. I walk downstairs. It smells delicious. I go to pick up the kids and I come back home. It smells delicious. <laughs> I'm like ready for the table to be set, food to be on there and just start eating, but guess what? It's not for, it's not for me. That is like the most disappointing thing. So, but, I don't know. But, but there, we do make one for ourselves. So we will have one eventually, but tonight you're making the soup, so. Yeah, hopefully yeah. that comes out, I don't know. So, okay, so you guys, they will know by the time this video comes out whether or not your soup turned out. Oh, that's true. The video will already that be up. That is true. Oh, if you haven't already seen my albondiga soup from a uh, recipe from my mom, go check it out in in Saturday's cook with me. All right, there we go. All eight are finished. Time to label. All right, you guys, last step, labeled, all done, ready to go in the freezer. Mm -hmm. So the next clip that you guys will see will be me with the meals that um, I exchanged these for, and so I'll give you guys a little sneak peek at what those are in the next clip. It is now the next day, and we have done our freezer meal exchange, so I'll just show you guys real quick what everybody else um, exchanged. Um, I don't have any recipes or anything for it, so if you're dying for the recipe, let me know. I can try and get it for you. But here are a few things, few ideas that maybe you can make or look up online. Here we go. First is um, chicken tortilla casserole. Looks so good. So there's that frozen meal. And then we've got some pizza pasta. Boop, boop. Look at that. That looks delish. And then we've got some loaded chicken Alfredo bake. Yummo, yummo, yummo with a little extra Alfredo sauce there. And then here is some, let's see, chicken enchilada chili. Yum, 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 I love chili. Yum, yum, yum. And then we've got chicken Parmesan. Let's see, boom, there's that. And this smell, like I could smell this, it smells so good. And then of course, last but not least, we have Inez's potato soup with some ham and cheese sliders. So potato soup, cream cheese goes with the sauce. All right, so if you guys wanna know how to make this, she has over up on her channel how she made this. It should be up today when this is up. So go head on over to her channel, How Inez Rolls. She made all of this for you guys so that you have an idea of how to make it. You will have at least, um, Two, two meals, the one that I made and then the one Inez made and then anything else, either look up on Pinterest or online or if you really are dying for the recipe, let me know and I can email it to you. But that is it, that is it. All right you guys, so that is it for our freezer meal exchange. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, don't forget to like this video and we will see you guys tomorrow. <laughs>